morning now uh, with uh, bucks and birds outfitters in Indiana um, early December I uh, got a good muzzleloader hunt going we're really pumped uh, weather's hit they're moving uh, we're set up in a great spot right along the back of the back of a river we got a swamp right at the base of our tree stand so it's a really good really good funnel they're gonna, they're gonna they walk along this swamp so pretty much all morning the wind direction has just been killing us um, it's been about opposite of what we wanted the whole the whole time we we're hoping for it to change and it hasn't so we're uh, we're gonna get out of the tree and see if we can warm up a little bit hopefully we can turn our luck around a little bit tonight john moves across the field to a new location along the tree line the high cover of the wheat field helps john stay concealed from any approaching deer John slowly readies his gun for any bucks who may come wandering out of the tree line. As John scopes out some small bucks and does in the field, his cameraman Steve spots a new, larger buck. That's a good buck. That's a good buck out there. That's a good buck. That one out there. You better look at him close. Must be a new deer. The far back, the very back one. Where did he come from? In the very back, same in the very back. Uh, it's mixed in with those does. He came in from a whole different place than the other ones did. Okay. There goes the one horn buck right in front of him. See it? It's only got one antler. There's your good one, see him? No, not yet. Is he about a hundred yards? Yeah. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. I cannot tell which one to shoot. He keeps mixing in and out. Is it is a big one on the left? I can't. His head's down. John waits patiently for the half rack buck to clear. Okay, let's start getting ready. Now remember that other buck is in front of you. Don't shoot the wrong buck. Gotta wait. Clear that other buck's head. Okay, we're getting ready. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
get ready. What do you think? No, no, no. Great, that other buck is just in front and is pushing him. If he would clear, I could shoot him. Oh, look at him pushing. Look at him fighting. He's gonna run him clear across the field. What do you think? Okay. I just don't dare shoot yet. He is on the left, but let's get his head up there before you shoot. Okay, anytime. I'm getting ready. I'm going to go ahead and take him. I'm going to take him right now. Welcome back. We last left John pointing his muzzle loader at a 10 point buck. Let's rejoin the action now as the other deer clear out and begin to open up a potentially perfect shot. Okay, okay. we're getting ready. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. I just don't dare shoot yet. He is on the left, but let's get his head up there before you shoot. Okay, anytime. There's him kicking right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh man. That is my first, first white tail with a muzzleloader. I think he's a tan. I know he's at least five on one side. I'm not sure about the other side. Oh, first day, first night. He puts us on this field. He tells us it's his honey hole. Ryan with bucks and birds here in Indiana. We come in here, this field is covered with deer. They come out from the right, from the left. Pretty soon there's a buck, and there's another buck. Then the big one comes out from behind. We didn't even see him. We're looking at does and, and filming. And the big one comes up the back. He slides in behind. Before we know it, he's piled in the middle of does, fawns. There's bucks. There's a, there's a little, little three-point with just one tine on one side. They're fighting. They're pushing. Um, I can't believe it. You're sitting there in tents, the gun's up, you're waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and he will not clear. And just as he thinks we're going to clear, we're clear for the shot, we're ready to take it, and then a little buck comes over and starts pushing him, and he pushes him, probably pushes him 10, 15, 20 feet clear to the other side. Unbelievably intense, trying to wait for that shot. <laughs> and I'm waiting, I'm thinking, okay, we've got to clear, i got to have a clear shot in front, clear shot in back, we don't want to punch through him and sh shoot another doe or shoot another buck, so we... Uh, Shouldn't have to trail him, he should just be down, but he dropped in that heavy stuff and I then saw a kick and then he's down and I'm not exactly sure what's going on, so I'm excited to go get him. Hey guys, he just saw us drop that 10 point buck right in his tracks. Unbelievable night with those animals moving around waiting for a good shot. Um, what you didn't see was we got done collecting our stuff, taking a couple shots, going down to, to take a look. That buck, believe it or not, got up and took off. Um, we had the gun loaded. It was uh, just a quick shot in the corner of the field, uh, trying to get another one in him. And uh, we're not sure what happened there, but we couldn't find blood on the second shot. We fought it, found a small amount of blood on the first shot. So I'll tell you, it's going to be a long night, but we really feel like we got to let that thing go. And we don't want to run him off, get him up, get him going. We'll never be able to pick him up. So we really want him to, to go bed down somewhere and, and hopefully collect him tomorrow morning. So we just came out of the field and uh, we're gonna get ready. Uh, we're gonna go back to the house, uh, take a look at the film, see if we can pick up where we hit him and what exactly went wrong. 
and uh, we're going to kind of take it from there. So it's going to be a long night, but don't go away. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow morning, hopefully, to go collect that Indiana buck. After John endures a very long night, it's finally morning and time to collect his 10-point buck. Well, folks, um, as you know uh, how we left you last night, deer got up run, and ran away. And uh, we got that one other quick shot at him. And uh, we went back, took a look at footage. We're sitting here today. We're here this morning, Ryan. Uh, we, we decided to come back and, and see what we could find. Um, what did you think when you got a look at the footage last night? Well, John, I tell you, after seeing that footage, you, you put the kill shot on him, in my opinion. It was totally <laughs> unbelievable the way he got back up. But he's I, not I've laying never, in the middle of the field. I've never so. seen anything like it. <laughs> but after seeing the shot on that footage again, I, I'm betting he, he's laying right up there in that tree line. That's the only cover around here. Um, Again, it is just amazing well, the way he got back up. I'll tell you, that was the toughest night of my life. I mean, we left this field last night, and I was just totally bummed. I mean, you, you shoot a buck, you, you're excited. First buck with a muzzle loader, we think we've got it. Uh, you know, got it, got it on film. It was a great sequence, and he gets up and runs away. Mm -hmm. And and you're like, well, what did I do? Where did I hit him? And uh, you know, been out here looking for sign. I mean, this is right where he went down, and there is not much of. A powerful hit. I mean, no, it, not much you know, sign at all, there's but not much sign here at all. I got to tell you, I appreciate your patience. I know that was <laughs> one of the toughest things to do, but uh, we did. We made the right decision and not putting any pressure on him whatsoever. And um, again, I appreciate your patience. We need to head into this tree line here, John. And uh, what we need to do here is we're going to do a grid search. We just kind of check a board pattern, you know, back and forth. I want you to start down here low. I'm going to go up high. All right, and just. Just really look close for any kind of sign, possible hair, blood, anything. There are beds everywhere in here. There's three beds right here. I'm just not seeing. The hope was that he just came out of that field and came in these woods and, and laid down. And uh, that doesn't look like so far that's what happened. That's right ahead of me. I'm gonna mess with John a little bit here. Hey, John. Yeah. Get up here. I got some good sign. Oh, you got, you got blood. Big pool of blood. You got blood. Yeah. Right it's here. About time. I tell you. I begin to think this thing. It's only gonna bleed one drop. Oh yeah. Right here. But what I really want you to see What's is blood? check that sign out. What's that? Oh, you got a <laughs> Oh, you dog. Let's go take a look. Oh, man. you got to be kidding. What a horrible night. Waiting. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hey, off's worth it, huh? Don't mess with me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's wow. got to be done. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Look at that guy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I never thought I was going to hold on to him. <laughs> that was last night. Hey, that's one heck oh, of a buck, wow. man. What an awesome buck. Water season. After, that, after that second shot, and he ran away. I mean, I did not think. He must have just come down in here and worked his way up, head into the field or whatever. But oh, look at that! That's awesome. First that muzzle is. loader buck. You know what? We hit him high. Oh, this just is like the first video. Muzzle. Well, congratulations, like video, John. Man. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much. You guys, Ryan. You guys, you guys are fantastic. You've got a pile of deer here. Um, well, thank you. That that, that uh, footage we got last night with those deer. I mean, we we had a half an hour, 45 minutes, and bucks pushing each other and. Picking bucks out and which one, and, and uh, it was awesome. Yeah, we couldn't that's nice it. when you got a selection like that. <sighs> no idea what a relief that is. Wow. You know what? And that shot hey, just like on the video. Come on now. Congrats, awesome, Ryan. Ryan. Awesome. Congrats. You got a fantastic operation here. Bucks and birds, man. Thank you very man. much. Thank you very awesome, much. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey. Look at him. Now that we got him out of the way on the first day, let me treat, it, treat you to a pheasant hunt. What do you think? <laughs> I'm excited. Shoot some I was, birds up? I was hoping we could, we could do some pheasants. I love to shoot birds. Welcome back. Before the break, you saw John collect his long-awaited 10-point buck. After the grueling overnight wait and the thrill of tracking down the buck, the guys decide it's time to relax and do a bit of pheasant hunting. No, not a good 
you try. Enjoying this, aren't you? Nice shot. Very nice with those Good looking are. bird, man. Congratulations on the first one. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go. Tell me Let's go shoot some more. Good-looking birds. We started the week off with a good white tail and finished it off with some pheasants. Right. Hope Gonna, to get you back in the spring for a big gobbler. Yeah, that's we're looking forward to it. Come back and shoot a turkey in the springtime. So oh, hey, nice shooting again. Awesome, huh? awesome operation. Great dogs. Thank you. Good job. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. That's all the time we have for this week's show. We'd like to thank everyone who helped us make these hunts so enjoyable. Ryan and Bridget Vermilia from Bucks and Birds Outfitters. Pro staff member John Tilby, co-owner of Sportsman's Outdoor Products. Field producer Steve Bailey. And finally, we thank all of you for taking time out of your day to watch our show. So long from all of us at the American Outdoorsman. For more information on today's program, you can visit our website at www.theamericanoutdoorsman.com.